It's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff, so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data, but I got tail every day. The day they release us is false. It better gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, they can keep creating the counterfeit shares. They can keep pushing the price down, but I know the price is not real. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. What I'm telling you is this. If they had real shares, they would have delivered them. You have, I'm getting messages all over the world from a whole bunch of different countries of people who have not received their shares. They have not received their shares. And there are people right here in the United States that have not received their shares. Okay? So when they're putting up, they got millions of shares available to short. When they're putting that, the, the, the cost of borrowers now, what, 18% or, or some nonsense like that or 51%, whatever whatever number they want to put out there. It is for gazy. It is nonsense. They are in trouble. They do not have any real shares. Remember, when they start buying real shares, we will see it in the price action. We will see it in the price action. How do you think they were able to push it down from 70 to, to $1? Counterfeit shares. Trillions of counterfeit shares. The way the rule of supply and demand works is people sell and people buy. And for every seller, there has to be a buyer. So for it to go from 70 to 1 when nobody's selling, when the OBV has stayed consistent, that tells you they've only been doing it with counterfeit shares, with ladder attacks in the dark pool, not from the rules of supply and demand. And the fact that they still haven't delivered the shares to all the AMC retail investors tells me that they don't have the shares. They don't have them. Okay? They don't have them. So if you want to hold, keep holding. If you want to sell, sell. If you want to buy more, buy more. But as far as I'm concerned, they don't have the shares. They haven't delivered the shares. And until they do, I will keep holding my AMC shares. Anyway, please some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think these guys are not delivering the shares because they're lazy or because they don't exist? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on the journey with me.